Hi, we're here with Lauren today to show you how to correctly fit your point shoes. Always remember when you're fitting your point shoes that you want to use any ouch pouches or padding that you will use when you're dancing on point. So Lauren just popped this shoe on there. So there's a few things that we want to look at when we're fitting a point shoe. These ones fit Lauren very, very nicely. One of the first things you want to look at is actually the length of the wings as they come up the side. Now the length of the wing needs to come up just to the line of your big toe joint. It's important it's not too long or too short. If the wings sit in underneath your big toe, then there's a chance of developing a bunion or pressure points actually along the big toe joint, which is not very comfortable. Okay. Another thing you want to take care of is the length of the vamp. Often girls with longer toes will require a longer vamp. You don't want it too high that it stops you from coming up onto your demi point, but then you do want it to be long enough so that your toes, the top of your toes aren't exposed and you don't fall out of the shoe. Just turn sideways on there. The length of the shoe is obviously very, very important. Take a note of where the, the heel comes up in relation to the dancer's heel. You want to make sure that this does not sit too high. If the drawstring is sitting up where the Achilles tendon joins into the heel bone, you can get a lot of irritation across where it joins in. Also, if the shoe is too short and the heel is dropping down, there will be a lot of trouble actually keeping the shoe on when you're moving on to point. Lauren, just go into a wide second position. Another way to check the length of the shoe is just to do a plie in second. You come down there. Okay, now you can just feel your toes yes. at the end there. Yeah, you want to feel the tips of the toes just touching the edge of the shoe, come up into standing. If when you fit the shoe they're already knuckling, that's not a good sign, You tend to the shoe will tend to be too short. If the toes are knuckling you can develop lots of blisters across the, the small knuckles of the toes which is not very comfortable. So when you do a plie, the toes should be just touching the edge of the shoe. You also want to check the fit of the shoe in a, on a point position. So just pop your toe up onto point. So without putting any weight through, just turn my face that way. Yeah. So without putting any weight through the shoe, we want to look at how the sides of the satin are sitting. And you can see this shoe fits Lauren's foot very, very well. She's staying nicely in there and it's snug in around each of the sides. If the satin is gaping out at all, you can try to adjust the drawstring. However, some shoes are cut wider at the heel, some are cut more narrow, so you might have to try a few different fittings and pop down.